Hello Blockineers, we are at Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado and we're going to show you the fun things you can do here. Now we're getting our Junior Ranger booklets. Alright, so we bought the National Park sticker and we're going to place it in the Rocky Mountain region along with Rocky Mountain National Park and Great Sand Dunes National Park. We're driving the Mesa Top Loop, which is a six mile driving loop, and along the way there's many pit stops. So the first one is the Pit House. Pit House! Pit House! Did you lock the pit. This site used to be a pit house, pit house in 600 AD where the Native Americans lived, and there were also seven other pit houses nearby, so they lived in a community. The next stop is Navajo Canyon Overlook. That circle on top. The next point of interest is Square Tower House Overlook. It's from AD 1200. So that's like 600 years after the pit houses. <laughs> this is a very nice trail. It's all paved and accessible. That's the square house over there. It's our first cliff, de uh, cl cl cliff dwelling we saw today. Pit houses and pueblos is the next stop. Pit. This is a kiva which was used for religious purposes. The bottom of the pit has like a fire area and there's the there's a sitting area all around. And with the fire pit inside the kiva, the smoke can come out from this chimney. Next is Mesa Top Site, AD 900. These actually used to be towers, but then the towers over the years just went away. And the towers were linked by underground tunnels, as you can see, to Kivas. This is the Sun Point view, and we can see houses there in the cliff. Behind me is the Fire Temple, another religious location. This is the Sun Temple. We were just on the other side, and now we're actually at the temple. Let's go inside. Never mind. That is the Cliff Palace, and unfortunately, it's closed for tours right now. We're going to turn in our Junior Ranger booklets for a badge. Repeat after me. As a Mesa Verde Junior Ranger, As a Mesa Verde Junior Ranger. I promise to protect Mesa Verde. I promise to protect Mesa Verde. And all national parks. And all national parks. I also promise to stay on trails, not tickle the lizards. What? Not what? tickle the lizards. I never saw that when I went uh, to Oh, that's because this is my special one. Oh, whatever. You gotta say it. Not tickle the lizards. <laughs> not tickle the And recycle when I can. And recycle when I can. I will also respect. I also respect. All people and cultures. All right, well done, gentlemen. I never saw the tickle the lizards. That's right, I thought you memorized it ahead of time. Thank you. We're hiking on a paved road to the Long House for a guided tour, and the paved road is 0 0.7 miles. Each way should take 20 minutes, and behind us are very scary looking clouds. We have put on ponchos because there's a chance it could rain or thunder or lightning. We took our ponchos off because it stopped drizzling and we got too hot. 
And we made it to the long house. For now, we're protected from lightning and rain because it's uh, kind of I don't dope. think so. This strikes the rocks. I don't really know about that. But it will strike up there. Still, the rock might be coming down there. Now we're going to climb up the ladder just as the Native Americans did. We went up the ladder, that was a pretty cool experience, and now we're completely covered if it were to rain. There's a pile of logs here, maybe the Native Americans used that for fires, like cooking. All the greenery here is because of seep springs, so the water seeps down all the way there, and then the plants are able to grow. And that's also how the natives got their water. It's starting to rain, but we're protected by the cliff. <laughs> Based on the other kivas we've seen throughout this national park, I think this is their kiva of the longhouse, which was their religious and ceremony place. This is really cool because you're right where the Native Americans used to be, and these were their rooms. They're kind of small, but probably pretty cozy because in the winter, it would keep them safe from snow and rain. And also, I don't know how they keep warm, but in the summer, at least it's cooler than the outside since it's shaded. It's also cool that there's so many different levels. It's like being in a multi-story building and all the doorways are so small. There's a handprint up there. The ranger just said that there's about 125 people used to live here, like at one time. And I don't know, I, don't, I can't tell if that's too much or too little because there are a lot of living places but 125 seems like a small population compared to today's cities so maybe it's just right we put the ponchos back on because it's starting to rain and we've pretty much seen everything at the longhouse this was a pretty cool place to be and i'm glad that we were uh, sheltered by the rain for a while the ladders were really fun to climb and and the rangers here were very helpful and they gave us a lot of information yeah. brother what was your favorite part my favorite part was taking photos. So now let's hurry back up before we get struck by lightning. Ready? And now we venture into the rain.